I invited you during your Lord's Week to look up. Why? Because it was the year of Pokemon Go and everywhere in Lourdes was a Pokestop. But glued to your screen, you would perhaps be missing the wonders of Lourdes. This year, I'd like to invite you to look straight ahead and to bend low, gently leaning in. Let me tell you what I mean. Two weeks ago, our school in Battle and Dillasar had a summer concert. In the middle of it, a girl stood up to sing from Lady Zorab, that beautiful song of Cassette, Castle on a Cloud. As she started to sing, she faltered, and tears welled up in her eyes. She tried to carry on, but her voice choked, and she stopped, eyes glistening. Everyone was willing her on. From behind, another girl stepped forward. She was one of the dancers and clearly a friend. She turned to the singer, literally 90 degrees, so she was looking away from the audience and directly into the eyes of her friend. Her friend gave her a little smile, kept looking at her as the music teacher played the melody again. And she sang gloriously, gaining confidence with every note. And she just kept looking at her friend, who looked back at her, encouraging, smiling, keeping her going. And that, dear friends, is what I mean when I encourage you to look straight on, to look at each other, to give each other strength where strength is needed to help each other discover the very best of who you are this week. What will you discover when you look at each other? Have a look now, just into the eyes of the person next to you. Deep into their eyes. the young seminarian who got his passport for this trip less than 36 hours ago. It might be that you're sitting next to the girl who woke up on the coach this morning and believed her friends when they told her she was in Spain and you had to travel through Spain to get to Lourdes. But it might also be that you are next to the person who has an amazing gift, but it's buried a little deep within, and they need you to help them to bring it out. It might be that you discover the person next to you who, like you, thinks that they're not holy enough to be here, and they need you to tell them that everyone feels like that. <laughs> no one has their faith sorted, including, I can tell you, the priests, religious and seminarians. It might be that you look into the eyes of a person that you absolutely fall in love with and spend the rest of your life with. Yesterday, I was in Rome. <laughs> Yesterday, I was in Rome on the terrace of a villa inside the church of which I had just married, Cloda and Luke, who met because of the Brentwood Catholic Youth Service and who have often been in Lourdes over the years. What I'm really trying to say to all of you, dear friends, is Lourdes is a place of surprises. I urge you with every fibre of my being to be open to the surprises of faith this week. Be prepared to be surprised about who you are and be prepared to be surprised by the people around you. We are in a place where a poor, illiterate teenager who was very ill had a vision of Our Lady. We're in a place that reminds us of the frailties of life as we see those who are ill and who are elderly. This is not Love Island. The bodies that you see are not tanned, generally, without blemish or wrinkle, I speak for myself, Course. They call Love Island a reality show, but there's not too much about it that's real. And dear friends, Lourdes might seem a bit of an unreal place at times as well, but here, 
you will encounter the rawness of life, the challenges of life, an amazing joy in utterly unlikely places. Love Island is a performance for the cameras. You don't need to perform here. And actually, do you know what? In the 219 people of the ECYS, very few will know you. Very few are from your parish or your school. So what an amazing freedom not to be bound up by the judgments that people might be making about you from home or from school. Isn't it wonderful? If you want to, you can kind of reinvent yourself here. And a week is long enough to do that. Shake off whatever is holding you back. Step into a new adventure. St. Francis de Sales said, be who you are, be it well, and all for the glory of God. And above all, Lewis shows us the deep truth of our Catholic faith. It's a faith that cares for those who are most ill, those who are most poor. A faith that is brought to life in the kind of service and kindness that you all do this week. You are at the heart of that in terms of the diocese and pilgrimage. I've talked about looking straight ahead, looking into each other's eyes to discover those truths about yourself and those around you. But Lourdes is also that place to bend low, to gently lean in. I mean, with the pilgrims, being no doubt about the difference that you make. There are some people who will be in Lourdes with us this week who will never leave their homes for 51 weeks of the year. There are some people who have been abandoned by their families, whose children and grandchildren <coughs> don't go near them. So the difference that you make in their lives is remarkable, just by being yourself. And if you do dare to bend low, to lean in, you will discover truths that shape your own lives. Like I said to you earlier on, there are people on this trip who live five possibly even six times as long on earth as you have. When they were your age, they were being evacuated because of bombings in the Second World War. And there are people on this pilgrimage who will have life stories to share that resonate very, very deeply with yours because some things about teenage life don't change, even over the decades. And even though their teenage years had no internet, no mobile phone, no Snapchat, and the closest they got to Love Island was a week in Bogna Regis. But lean in, listen in, discover <laughs> their wisdom, just as they will be keen to hear from you. Just to finish with a word, a specific word, about today's gospel. You know that story of the wheat sown, uh, the weeds sown in amongst the wheat. It's a story of extraordinary hope. The hope that Jesus has in each one of us. The wheat, of course, in the story is us. The weeds are those things that are sown, that can choke us, that can really get in the way. And it might be that you've arrived here actually feeling yourself rather mired in the weeds. Whatever that means for you, however you feel about that particular situation, Jesus is not giving up on you ever. Jesus is willing you on as the wheat sprouted through the weeds. So this week, as you look straight ahead and discover those around you, this week, as you bend low and listen gently, be assured that others are doing the same for you. Lewis is the place where a poor, illiterate, ill teenager met the mother of Jesus Christ. In other words, a place of amazing encounter, a place of absolute surprises, and just like those girls at the De La Salle concert, a place of courage and hope. I encourage each one of you, enjoy the journey of this amazing pilgrimage.